Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Okay, we are here in the Magic and Arms shop, and we're gonna upgrade our hand cannon real quick. It's been needing an upgrade for a little while, since we haven't got a chance to upgrade it since Adelheid. So I'm going to upgrade the hit percentage by 2%, and I'll do an extra bullet. Okay, that's all I wanted to do there. Okay, I think we still have a little bit more of the talent to explore. I pretty much covered everything in the uh, last episode of this, but pretty much everything up here has not been checked yet. And there's a hearty apple in here, always nice. Let's go ahead and use that on... Go ahead and use it on Jack, or Zach, whatever you want to call him. It is, his real name is Jack, but I always name him after me, so... Yeah. Okay, let's head down over here. Is there any of these barrels? No. Is there this one? No. Nothing. Awesome. And there is something in here. There is a power apple. Nice. Let's go ahead and use that on Jack also. And there's a cat butt in the stairway here. I don't see why we can't just, like, move it, but just stuck there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cage tower to the northeast was used for capturing monsters. Magic device stored in the tower mobilizes the monsters. Well, that's kind of cool. It's in a giant cage. Hence the name Cage Tower, I guess. Okay, let's head up here. Another type block in the staircase. It's a magic key called the Duplicator stored here. Anyone can open a sealed door with it. That's why it's under guard. Please leave. Well. Today we did a magic carrot that gives us seven. Okay, good. Um, pretty sure there's nothing else up here. Okay, yeah, nothing up here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's about it for items here. There were some we saw earlier that were blocked by some by some people, so we can't get to those quite yet. Soon enough, though. Okay, first up, before we head out, we load the ammo real quick. Maybe we can save our game too, why not? Always a good idea to save your game before you head out to a new part. Just a general rule of thumb. <coughs> Alright then, let's take care of that, so let's head on to Cage Tower then. Pretty short walk, actually, just right to the northeast. Okay, now let me see. I'm not sure if this thing's here or not. Oh, hold on one second. Warning, danger. Cage tower to the east, the L ruins, I guess? I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I've never known, actually, so... If you do know, please correct me on that. The ruins are to the southeast, then. Now, I think, okay, not right now, but later on, I think once you beat the cage tower, there'll be a little, um, item cart there that'll sell stuff to you. Pretty much, like, heal berries, all the status gear items, too. I thought it was here earlier, but it's not. So I guess, yeah, this will be there after you beat the part. Okay, these guys are annoying these critters. These things are pretty weak, actually. Let's go ahead and use Sonic Buster to kill those in one hit. And have silly defense, too. These guys are fast, though. But they're weak, so that's fine. Counterattack. Let's carry you. Alright, then that was easy. Oh, I did a heal berry. And another heal berry. Always good. Could never have too many of those. The cage tower is right up here. Okay, yeah, here's the front door, and you remember the key play we got earlier? Yeah, we we'll, we'll want to use that right here. There you go. Okay. Now, there's two staircases here. The right one will take us where we want to go, so let's take the left one first. Hit the switch here, and yeah, that'll lower the wall over there, so we can get past there now. Okay, then just one over here, and up the staircase. Okay, I want to head down first. Whoops. And find a random battle. Yeah, there's two staircases. Um, staircases, excuse me. We'll be hitting those soon enough. There's some new enemies here. Hellhounds. Now, these guys are weak against ice, so you need to, you have to use that if you want to. But I'll use Sonic Buster to soften them up first, and then just use a normal attacks, and then I'll take care of the rest. These guys are pretty easy. They have a physical attack, and I believe they have a fire attack. I uh, either either hits one person or everybody. I am not sure yet. 
Hopefully they won't have a chance to use it, because it kind of hurts. Okay, did another heal berry. Nice. Okay, let's head up here then. We got this chest for a crest grab. Okay, for this crest grab, actually what I'll do between episodes, I will actually go back to Saint Centaur and use that. I will go ahead and make the uh, the quake spell. That'll be very, very useful for the boss in this part. Okay. Oh, this was like just a kind of spoiled it. I should have watched that. Sorry about that, guys. No, this is not a, a huge spoiler, but if you haven't played the game before, then I guess it is, so... I apologize for that. Yeah, yeah nothing new there. The enemy was just called a de Terrarabia, I think, or something like that. Just nothing, nothing special, really. Okay, so we got the Crest Graph. Did I do this already? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, yeah. Hit the switch there to lower the wall over there. And then it's dead end down there. Okay, so then let's head back over this way then. Yeah, we want to go into that staircase we saw up in the northeast. After this random battle. Same guys again. Yeah, just have everybody attack physically. It's pretty much all you really need to do. And pretty much you'll win, like, pretty much every random battle you fight with physical attacks. Ooh, this might hurt. Yeah, that guy can cast all sorts of spells on everybody. It's not as much damage to Cecilia as it is for Rudy and Jad. And I leveled up. Good. Get down another healer barrier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some of those real quick, actually. Okay, that was weird. Sorry about that. Okay, down the staircase here. Two more hellhounds. Now go ahead and use Cecilia's ice spells. These guys are weak against it. Let's make this go by a little bit faster. There we go. Yeah, this will deal quite a bit of damage, actually. Yeah, close to 600 lives. That's very, very good. Yeah, these enemies here really aren't that hard, actually. Probably the hardest would be the larva, just because he has the most HP. Other than that, it's really, really easy. This part's really straightforward too, actually. Other than the beginning. Okay, for these ledges, oh, platforms, you'll want to go back quickly on them. If you, if you stay on them too long, you'll fall, and then you have to start the room over again. So yeah, very, very useful for that. Okay, head down here. Oh, there's a chest here. Let's get these. Oh, it's a round shield. Okay, that's for Rudy. It's an upgrade from his buckler shield. Okay, nice defense and parry boost right there. This chest for a bullet left, and this chest looks kind of weird. It's okay. What oh, the prism laser arm for Rudy? Yeah, that's his second arm. And there's a group attack. The laser better on a group. It's generally better for a a big group of weak monsters, and that sucks. I looked away from the screen for a second, so yeah. Didn't wasn't planning on that happening, but oh well. But yeah, the laser, the um, prism laser is generally better on a group of weaker enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna head down and left for that first. Hit the switch here. And then come down here. Hit the switch here. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Okay, that sucks. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, then. Yeah, let's just pretend that didn't happen. There we go. Yeah, I've never had that happen before, actually. Yeah, if you do and if you do a, a different way first before you hit a switch, the wall will still be up there and you'll be blocked by it. Okay, I am running a little short on time here, so if I make it to the next room, I'll probably call it quits right here. Oh, there's a larva. Oh, this battle's not gonna be fun. Uh, let's use Valkyrie. Valkyrie's probably one of Cecilia's best spells in the game. For right now. Ow. Yeah, like, that kinda hurt. Especially on Rudy and Jack. Dude, that was nice. Oh, I love Cecilia's Valkyrie spell. Oh, no, that was worthless. Yeah, I didn't think that it wasn't gonna work against these other two guys, but no, I was wrong. Dude, that should take care of you. Okay, good. Alright then, real quick, physical attacks, as I'm running short on time. Hit, awesome. Okay. 
This should do it. Then I'll go ahead and I'll stop the video after this battle. Ah. Okay, good. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right here. Okay, guys. So next time in Let's Play Wild Arms, we will be continuing on the Cage Tower. Now this has been iHeart Movie signing off, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.